Sonko is a man in trouble having spent the last couple of nights incarcerated. Yesterday, Sonko was transferred from Gigiri to Kamiti Maximum Prison where he is expected to spend the next 30 days. This is after he was charged with financing terrorism and as a result the DCI asked for an additional 30 more days to finalize investigations on the said charges. At the Gigiri police station where he was held, details leaked to the public indicating that Sonko was treated like others as no VIP was allowed. Apparently, Sonko and his new cellmates started praying so loudly that they had to remind it to keep their voices down. Sonko later enjoyed a dish of pillow together with the other cellmates. The Kenyan's website wrote and I quote. According to police officers in the know, Sonko was ushered into the police cells at around 4.15 pm after undergoing police procedures. Sonko was stripped of his VIP status and was subjected to removing one shoe and his belt. Inside the cells, the former county chief met another five suspects who had been brought in for different offenses. At around 9.30 pm, the cell was transformed into a prayer center as Sonko and his new friends broke into worship songs and intercession prayers. The group was so loud that officers manning the report office had to ask them to lower their voices. Initially, he was in a pensive mood but after a while, he cheered up and was busy chatting with other men in the cells said an officer at the station. Only his family, doctor and lawyer were allowed to visit the former governor. After leaving Gigiri police station, the former Nairobi governor was arraigned at the Kiambu law courts on Wednesday and thereafter transferred briefly to the Kamiti Maximum Prison. Anyway, stay tuned as we bring you more up-to-date developing news. See you on the next one.